Could be a bomb coming there. Sorry, Grace. Hey, Grace. Well, it's August, so it's time for raid in my house. August, December, and May. So I wrote this about to get cabs again to call my house. <laughs> well, they called to my place fairly regularly, you see. They knock on my door yet, they don't want to see me. But before they knock, they surround the place, hoping to catch someone with flight on his face. So I get, a, I get six out the front and two hiding out the back, and four more in cars in case I attack. It happens quite often as I sit home in my chair, and whenever they call, they find me sat just there. Usually it's before seven in the morning they arrive, and I'm in bed asleep, not knowing if I'm dead or alive. But I soon wake up when they bang loudly on my door, demanding entry before my, heat, my feet have landed on the floor. When I open the door, I'm cuffed and told to stand still. Anything I say can be used as evidence, and they will. Hundreds of questions and the answers are always the same. We have you know, is that there your name? All I will admit to is yes, that name is mine. And then it's off to the station. They have their man, everything is fine. By now you would think someone might take a look at the date of birth on the warrant in my face at the show. But no, they're all warmed up for their morning raid. Their thinking is hit him hard, while in bed, where I laid. <laughs> this has been the third time in less than a year, and with two complaints against them, still they are not clear. It is not my fault someone is the same name as me. So I went to the station and to my door gave them all a key. And as I sat by the front office in the station, cuffed to the bench, in comes the superintendent seeing me, both fists in his clenched. I'm cuffed that man, he said, who is sat there at the end, and to my office, and also the raid sergeant you will send. And still I've said nothing, but yes, that is my name. But to the warrant and the charges, someone else is to blame. Several times I tried to explain all of this before, but to no avail, and they still come banging loudly on my door. And the one with the same name is still running free. <coughs> and he's 30 years or more younger than me. Well, I know I look fairly good for my age. <laughs> Considering I want to just look at the photo on the first page. And a simple apology for harassment would suffice. But the compensation you're offering, I'll be keeping it. It'll be just as nice. Back from Dollar Sheikh Khan's last the other day, we were talking about a Whitlow. Anyone know what a Whitlow is? Or a Whittle? <coughs> when you cut your nails and there's a bit left, you bite it off and it swells up. Well, I wrote this. Cure all. I had a Whitlow on my middle finger. This one. It's when you cut your nails and a little bit lingers. And you just can't resist but to take a bite and pull that little fecker out with all your might. <laughs> but then a few days later, when you wake from your sleep, the pain is desperate and it hurts really deep. It was the size of three fingers sat there on my hand. I thought the doctor would fix it. Everything would be grand. But my mother was a great one for home cures. She could fix anything and saw it as part of all of her chores. If she was to take us to the doctor with every elbow or arse, with a scratch or a scrape, he would think her a farce. So she boiled the kettle on the open fire and soaked it briskly till the flames went higher. And she sang away while she peeled light white soap from a barrel, mixing it with bread soda, cotton wool, and salt in a jar. And me not knowing what the hell she was planning, she sat by the fire, the flames she was fanning. I did hear her calling while I was out in the yard, but I know she had something which for me could be hard. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> I can still remember it. Oh, but she hauled my finger and me off to the kitchen sink. Let us fix that there monstrosity. What do you think? She reddened the needle over the heat from the gas, and without hesitation, I fainted, landing flat in my ass. <laughs> I wasn't out long as she prodded and poked. She was on a mission, she said. I hope she joked. Over and back the needle went to the gas heat. The pain would not let me stand up on my feet. Then the kettle was taken from the open fire, and that was hot. Poured over my finger, saying, So now this will kill the rat. Then that foul-smelling poultice she had mixed in the jam was laid around by now she had gone too far. But she had her way and finished her chore. And then I was up and like a shot out the door. Never in my entire life with her again did I complain. But I never took a bite out of my nails again.
first one, sure. Yep. Jesus. 